This story starts at a homecoming dance in September. And really, it started long before that. We'll begin with my friends and I laughing amidst a mosh pit of sweaty teenage bodies. It's the epitome of high school. And as a little girl, I never thought the whole ask out a boy and wear mascara and high heels was for me. But after years of canceled events because of the pandemic, I wouldn't miss a dance for the world. After homecoming this fall, five of us went running down 42nd Avenue to our favorite little beach. It was dark and I was shivering and we were so high on life. Three of us stripped down to our bras and underwear and ran into the lake. We were screaming and shouting and swearing as the frigid water hit our bodies. And that's what I'm so passionate about. Our waters. Our planet. From the moment I was born, I fell in love with our planet. People told me there was no other like it. Science teachers taught that the sun and the stars had to be perfectly aligned for us to survive, and I wondered why killing it wasn't considered a crime. Parents whispered stories of raging rivers at night, of bright fall colors in the full moon's light. We have oceans that gift us water and trees that let us breathe, but rich politicians are stealing our future out from under our feet. Trampling over the huge forests we try to protect just for a couple more digits on next week's paycheck. They toss our dreams of further generations to the side and cheers with a glass of polluted wine. Today, teenagers line the streets with signs, demanding that the selfish adults in power change their minds so that in 60 years, we don't have grandchildren asking, why didn't you do something when you still had the time? Today, we have time, but there will come a day when the destruction we have made is too much to take away. We must make people understand that caring for our planet isn't just a modern idea for college hipsters, but a ticket to our future. We need to spread the message that Earth is more important than any amount of money, any rich, rich luxury, that we need this planet to survive. Oxygen is worth more than fame and Wi-Fi. Environmental living needs to be normalized. If kids grow up in a society where the green stuff means trees and water quality is valued more than the number of likes on their feed, then maybe they'll be more inclined to reuse their cups and stop buying plastic, because they live in a world where the environment matters. From the moment I was born, I fell in love with our planet, and until the day I die, I will fight for it. You know, it's kind of like a high school dance. There aren't many people who see themselves as the type of person who will jump in the lake when it's 10 degrees outside. When it's no longer an option, it can be heartbreaking. I will continue to write letters and speak at rallies and stand on the side of the street with signs until changes are made. Whether I pursue a career in environmental law or join the Peace Corps, my passion for the environment is what drives me. I will fight to preserve our waters so that my grandchildren's children will have a clean lake to jump into in the middle of January, if they so choose.